up everyone this is Unchained TV another video people are fed up pure and simple people are fed up fed up going through the same things all the time everywhere they go it's always repeated they fed up that's why a lot of relationships ain't working no nowadays man men are fed up women are fed up everybody's just fed up Especially men, man. Men, a lot of women would be like, uh, a man is weak because he doesn't want to tolerate her behavior. That don't make a man weak. A man just doesn't want to deal with that no more. And a woman can say the same thing when she don't want to deal with a man's attitude, right? It's always this two-sided thing, man. How come... When a woman doesn't want to sleep with a man, she's considered strong. When a man doesn't want to sleep with a woman, he's considered gay. See what I'm saying? See? See how this is? See how this world is? That's why, man. That's why people are so fed up. Because it, it, it don't work like that. I seen a video where this woman detailed about... Uh, being on tour with Tupac said that her and Tupac slept in the same bed throughout the entire tour and Tupac never made any advances on her, never touched her or nothing like that. And she, she glorified it. Not only that, the guy who made the video was like, that shows you that Tupac had discipline. But when another man does the same thing, when he lets a woman sleep in the bed with him and he don't make no advances towards her, he's considered gay. Stupid. It's stupid. So, what's the... It's only Tupac. Only Tupac can pull that off, man. He, he's got discipline. But another man pulling that off, he that man gay. So how come that man don't got discipline? How come he don't? How come... That's, that's what I'm saying about people, man. People ain't right up here in the head, man. They really not. They is not in their right minds. You got women out here cheating on their dudes for just being beta males. Now, let me tell you, Western, Western modern women, check it out. Now, the thing that y'all pull in here in this country, remember, this country is supposed to be free. You're free, but not really free, but you're free to treat people however you want to treat them. Now, you go to Brazil, Indonesia, or Japan with this same funky attitude you got, with the same mentality that you have, and I guarantee you, you will not last more than a few days or a week in them countries. You can cheat on men here, and men are just, they'll cry about it simps they'll cry about it and maybe they'll move on or maybe they won't you pull that same thing over in them other countries they'll chop you up into pieces and not think about it twice there was a woman an afghan woman man she cheated on her man man her man cut her head off beheaded her we in an era where people are fed up people don't want to tolerate things no more and y'all still pulling and acting like children over the smallest, pettiest things. You got women who flip out as soon as they man pick their phones up. You got men who flip out as soon as they woman pick their phone up. Technology, man, the whole system, all this, it just screwed up the mentality of the human mind. Made the human nature more intolerable that's what i meant by technology destroys mankind it does that's the whole agenda is to destroy man destroy the women destroy the men it's working it's happening feminism destroying the women and destroying the men it's doing it it's doing its job technology destroying the men and the women it's destroying everything and everybody. And everybody ain't waking up to it. They just keep on doing it and doing it and doing it. Eventually, something's got to give, y'all. Something's got to give. People fed up. 
They fed up. That's why it's so hard for them not to kill other people. So they have to stay away from people. That's why you don't never see them in these large groups. That's why they're never they never go out. That's why they don't never go anywhere. They just stay in the house because they know that there's going they're going they're going to be somebody there that's going to push their buttons and then they just going to snap and kill that person. People are this is this is the most lost bunch of people that ever walked the face of the earth. Ever. People way back in the day, way back in AD and BC had more, more sense than the people do today. People in the 50s, 60s had more sense than the people do today. People today are just so lost. All they want is money. That's it. All they want is materials. That's it. All they want to do is screw other people over. It's kind of like mechanics too, man. Mechanics will screw you over too. Mechanics are set up in this matrix to screw you over. It's to make your life more difficult. You can go into a mechanic shop with one problem and then you'll come back out with more problems you had going in. They'll lie to you. For instance, I tested that too. I tested a mechanic once, man. I knew what was wrong with my truck. All I needed was a mass airflow sensor. So I took it to the shop, had him look at it. He come back. Oh, you got more problems. You've got this and this and that and this and this and that and this and that. And that'll come up to about three grand. And he couldn't even look me in my eye when he told me. I knew he was lying. I just said, you know what? Nah, I got it. I went and bought the part. Installed it myself. Truck ran just fine. That's what I'm saying, man. People are crooked. Corrupted. They are. I don't blame people for, for being fed up. I'm with you. I'm with you, man. I can't wait. I said, I can't wait. If this system collapsed, I wouldn't care. Oh, what? No more lights. No more convenience stores. No more groceries. None of that. No more of that. So, oh, I guess I'm going off back off the grid. I wouldn't care. But then if it does shut down, if it does collapse, you don't see people running around all crazy, looting, hitting killing each other in the streets blood man blood gonna run in the streets demons are already breathing blood today but yeah relationships that's why it's so hard that's why you see you see so many women on, on youtube crying that they can't find a man men doing the same thing crying because they can't find a woman just crying that's all it is it's crying most women would always say, oh, I can't. It's hard for me to find a good man. It's hard for you to find a good man. Well, guess what? You found more than a few good men. You just passed them over. You just passed them over because they didn't fit your standards. They weren't tall enough. They weren't fine enough. They didn't have enough money. And those three things that you looked for, you didn't see in that man. But that was a good man. That's how the system works. If you want a good man or a good person, the system will put that in your path. It's up to you to pick that person. And when you don't, you're going to be miserable because you had your chances. But now you cry about it. Men do the same thing. I always want men. They don't have as high standards as women. But they'll they'll, you know, they'll just sleep around, man. They'll just have sex with a woman and kick her to the curb. Because they know what's going to happen. Most women will try to uh, trap a man by having a baby. Men will try to trap women too by having babies with them. Yeah. Straight up, man. The human nature is jacked up. Like I said, I don't see no, I don't see no reverse to this thing at all. I really don't. The truth is the truth. It's all about destroying mankind. And y'all see they got these sex bots out. They got the robots coming. Because they're like, they need, they're telling people, the people need robot interaction. They don't need robot interaction, man. They need peace. Tranquility. They need love. They need respect. They need honesty. Without all of those things, they become kind of feral. People, 
And then like when it's when it's all said and done, when they're all drained of their energy and their life force, it's a game, it's game over. Check me. I feel sorry for this generation of people, man. I feel sorry. I feel sorry for every last one of them. Because they continue to dig themselves into a hole and they ain't going to be able to get out. That's all they're doing. Just keep digging and digging and digging until you just you, you stuck in it. You stuck. Can't get out. You're stuck. People fed up. This is Unchained TV. The Heavenly Father is always the truth. Baruch Shai out.